I'll. Great. Good. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for this meeting and it's really our great opportunity to again have few time to discussion with our friends from SM Australia and I believe this is a part of our learning and exchange sharing of our learning so yes we are really very grateful for this time and we are really sorry because there is a previous date but uh, considering our uh, few pre plan we have to re uh, schedule this uh, call so for this delay we are really sorry now i am going to share our presentation of our last few months from august to december because we already shared with our friends here about our SM journey details uh, before uh, 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 August through our previous uh, meeting. So today I'm going to introduce about our few activities that's about our October to December in 2022. And that is really amazing because uh, there is also our partner friends uh, from Australia SCM. They have used their contribution direction and that all are really very supportive and help us to achieve this target. Uh, yes, you know, we have a few thematic area that is our priority area when we are implementing our, 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 our any action, we must uh, align with those uh, thematic area. In this thematic area up to 2024, we will address and then 24, we will rethink if, is this is uh, uh, contextual for that time, or if not, then we will review, but this is our uh, 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 thematic area for uh, two thousand from uh, 2021 to 2024. So that is gender justice, identity and diversity. Another one is human rights and justice. And also there is a thematic area, eco justice and climate change, because, you know, Bangladesh is a, one of the most vulnerable for the climate change. Interfaith dialogue and peace building, that is our one of the most uh, significant thematic area, ecumenical movement and SM leadership, that is uh, and also solidarity and humanitarian program and also democracy of governments. Uh, now I'm going to introduce our activities and achievements from uh, 2022 August to December. Uh, yes, we, we, we implement a uh, 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 Christmas program in December 2022, where in, in, in two units, one is Dhaka unit and another one is in Khulna unit. So uh, for Dhaka unit, there are a total of 28 participants has participated in this celebration. And in Khulna unit, they are also separate event. And there also we have 20 participants uh, but but it, it, we call this is Christmas celebration, but it's not only the celebration of the Christmas. Also, we consider that time, uh, you know, the December is our independent month and 16 December. So patriotism is one of the most significant issue for as a nation of Bangali and also as a as a part of the student movement It's important to to uh, uh, adapt and respect our patriotism. So we also uh, discussed that day about our patriotism, about our independent day. And also um, as a Christian, uh, this is also our our kind of, uh, we, we are, uh, th that is most significant because that is Jesus Christ's birthday. Jesus Christ's birthday is not only a significant birthday, it also uh, a hope, a joy, also a guideline that Jesus Christ gave us. So we celebrated those uh, two events in our two units with that, with, with that type of discussion. And also uh, uh, there is uh, another unit that is Mehirpur unit. Mehirpur is our one of the significant unit. Uh, uh, a long time we haven't um, we haven't any activities because of the communication and leadership gap but unfortunately uh, and it's also god blessing that uh, during that time we rebuilt our unit mehirpur unit and there is a series of meeting discussion and finally um, we had a, a, a leadership workshop 
uh, we uh, 30, 49 participants in Mehipur unit. It was uh, 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 it was not only a workshop. It was also also uh, also after the workshop there is a, a official event that called um, AGM for the unit. So they organized the AGM and and establish their new uh, management committee to run and and uh, manage to 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 handling their management by their own. So it was also significant event in Mehipur unit and also there is a another significant issue that is about uh, 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 humanitarian response you know the shamnagar and shunamgons and shunamgons is a part of a, a, one of the, our southern part there uh, last year was affected people very severely for an eight month long they are under uh, flooding so uh, from our contribution we try to share our love and care to them and we addressed uh, uh, about 10 family to 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 uh, um, uh, support our humanitarian response to them and also there is a uh, two significant event that was really amazing thank you rabbi rabbi was also that part through the online so there is a central women workshop on gender equity where 36 participants from our eight units participated and that even also contributed from uh, 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 our Australia's uh, fund also and after that workshop we have another two days long workshop that is uh, eco justice and climate change and that uh, workshop we covered 41 participants and there is a, a, a few very few achievement that is we we think about uh, a biblical perspective and also how biblical perspective guide us to respect our climate, to respect our environment. And it's about the eco justice and how students should involve in this issue. And also we discuss uh, the, the in-depth discussion about what is eco justice, uh, why ecology justice is important, how we can improve our environment and also how benefit um, uh, through our movement of our uh, environment, uh, environmental justice and our involvement. So after that workshop, end of the day there is a action plan so there is uh, the individual uh, unit member they develop their action plan for the next one year how they will continue this work from individual and also uh, through their unit movement so it was a significant uh, workshop in our last uh, last during our last year because there was uh, many outcome, uh, many, many output that that actually strengthening the understanding of our participant, and also we invite few uh, uh, like-minded organizations participants to involve with us, and we invited uh, many reputed and uh, well knowledgeable part uh, resource person who was participated and discussed their their understanding and shared their thought with us and also uh, some of our senior friends those who are really sound in this field they also discussed uh, from their personal experience that's why we call that we must say it was really amazing and we was very 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 uh, 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 glad because uh, Australia SCM uh, from from Australia SCM Rabi was there through our uh, two hours. It was one hour schedule, but it's it's take uh, more than one hour. It's near two hour discussion, and also our WSF General Secretary uh, was also uh, participated through this Zoom meeting, and also our former General Secretary of WSF AP uh, Fanu was there. Uh, yes, Ravi, you can say something if you uh, wish, then you can contribute here. Uh, yes, it was such a pleasure, uh, Monica, to be able to meet your members of uh, Bangladesh SCM. And I must say, I, I find it inspiring that um, uh, students from around Bangladesh are uh, uh welcome the uh the vision of uh the the scm 
and and see the intimate connection between uh, gender, environment, and uh, and climate uh, as something that our Christian faith uh, is uh, uh, gives us a uh, a sense of hope and uh, and direction. And uh, we do uh, continue to uh, to pray for Bangladesh as you uh, are quite vulnerable to climate change and uh, and really need the uh, ecumenical solidarity to understand uh, your uh, specific concerns and uh, so it's uh, just really very welcome to us that we're able to help you with these uh, national level discussions which can bring together people to uh, to reflect and um, and uh, consider uh possible responses so uh, thanks again monica thank you so much Robbie. thank you so much and also your sharing also very main was very meaningful during the uh, during our uh, zoom discussion yes uh, and now uh, we uh, i'm going to introduce about your advocacy issue that is we continuously advocating through our uh, unit member church member and other like member organization about gender diversity and sexual or orientation are complex and often taboo uh, topic in bangladesh so is uh, important to continuously uh, uh, educate it, community people and our RSA member about the issue and also peace building and and and, and reducing religious conflict and extremism because still Bangladesh is a, one of the country there is many religious extremism and also uh, uh, interfaith uh, there is also one denomination to another denomination there is conflict one religion to other religion there is many conflict that is a uh, very important issue so we are continuing uh, continue our this advocacy initiative within our church and also our unit member and also uh, advocating eco justice uh, in personally myself and also few of our uh, colleagues we are personally very much involved in this eco justice platform in the national level now i'm working uh, to develop and proposed uh, to to develop proposed to government in five years planning upcoming years regarding uh, eco justice uh, issue that is uh, uh, develop a policy to climate change and its impact on child rights because children and girls and women are mostly vulnerable uh, the, when any any emergency happen here in Bangladesh. So there is many policies, but still we there still there is no specific policy for children, for women. So now I'm I'm advocating with government to um, to develop a policy regarding uh, climate change and it's the back on child rights and also yes we have few other rights based uh, activities for uh, for indigenous community and those those who are excluded community like uh, uh, many other uh, like uh, uh, indigenous and also few extreme community those who are really behind in the society and all kind of development planning so we have uh, uh, plan how we can promote how we can include them through our advocacy processes yes our activities that will be continue for uh coming years also and this year's also so our virtual dialogue seminar is about violence against uh, women and children and peace building at our unit level also a uh, central workshop we have planned to organize continue or continuing organize uh workshop and gender-based violation uh, based conflict at home and work and church also important so we, we we will continue this activity this year also contact unit level awareness raising movement uh, on that is that 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 aligned with the strategy um, uh, sustainable development goal like gender equity uh, decent work economic growth and also we have planned to a new incredible uh, day-long seminar on women and climate justice um, eco-feminism 
about those issues we, we we will continue continue to discuss within our units and also uh, the education and many training uh, will uh, will will continue for the discrimination to reduce the discrimination against lgbti communities peoples persons for them and uh, we have uh, many uh, social analysis and leadership workshop in our community level, spiritual development workshop also our, our still in our planning, Bible study and STEM orientation that is our major official program. And also, yes, we have, a, we, we will organize a seminar on global arming and register awareness because if Bangladesh, you know, uh, is a mostly vulnerable for climate change and many, we, we face many disaster and emergency situation. Yeah, uh, COVID is, uh, the situation is quite good, but it's still impact we are facing. So still we are continuing the awareness regarding COVID pandemic and other issues and yes we have a plan to co collaborate network and dialogue with 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 other uh, like-minded ecumenical organization church NGOs and other interfaith organizations making our constant violence to awareness and yes uh, now i'm going to introduce about our funding source yeah senior friend and advisor in bangladesh and also SCM Australia. We are very grateful to SCM Australia for their fund. And yes, we have limited grant from WSC the last year. We hope this year also we will achieve this one, but yet not confirmed, but still we have hope. Membership subscription and contribution from our SCM member. Yeah. And our standard, yes, is a is a SCM in Bangladesh, also a very oldest ecumenical student organization, and it's a well known to our ecumenical, uh, ecumenical society in Bangladesh. So that's our stance. And we have constitution, we have relation with senior friend and student. We have a strong senior friend forum here in Bangladesh. And yes, we have many network and and, and now I'm going to introduce a few of our challenges that is about student. They have a limited knowledge uh, because uh, most of the unit, like I'm, I'm sharing, Meherpur unit, they are just rebuilt. So many of unit, they still uh, have lack of knowledge regarding SA movement. Uh, global movement of SCM. So we 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 have planned to to introduce themselves about the issues, and that is our way forward. And also, um, still uh, we are not registered organization, but we have planned to register to start our registration. We our our treasurer, Mr. Andrew, on behalf of Bangladesh SCM, he already um, communicate with our. Uh, local uh, government and the process of this registration and we have we already had a series of meeting with our uh, central committee of Bangladesh SCM senior friend advisor they are agree regarding the registration now uh, we are trying it through this process but it's uh, it will take time because it's a lengthy process uh, yes uh, it was our way forward. So thank you very much for your contribution. Thank you very much, uh, Monica. So um, so before we do the open discussion, um, we have another agenda um for for um to inter um for welcome and introduction to. Um, the new regional executive um, of WSCF, uh, Asia Pacific, so Yowanda. And um, yeah, please do Yowanda. <laughs> so Yowanda, um, so I was the, I was the um, selection, uh, what do you call it? Selection committee of the WSCF um, AP and also the exco but uh, already resigned 
before I just met Yowanda <laughs> the last meeting and after that I resigned and the first time in uh, Yowanda joined the meeting and after that um, I will continue to Yowanda to talk about uh, something um, like uh, several minutes. Yeah, thank you Yowanda. Okay, thank you very much Andika. Um, hello everyone, greetings from Indonesia. Hello, hi. Hello. Hi. Yes, greetings from Indonesia. Thank you for this opportunity. It is a blessing to meet everyone here from Bangladesh, SCM and Australia, SCM. I hope all of us here are in a good and healthy conditions. And thank you very much, Monica, and our friends from Bangladesh for sharing your works in, in Bangladesh. It is uh, inspiring seeing your activities from the discussion to workshop and also advocating for the important issues in Bangladesh. I will be praying for everyone there so that the spirit of God will be upon you as you work and fight for more peace and just in our society. And last month was the first month that I was trusted as the new regional executive and global program director of the AP region. Uh, some of you must already heard that our AP office is currently being relocated from Hong Kong to Indonesia. Hence, that is uh, my main job for the time being while still maintaining the office administrations as usual. And now we are still dealing with the registrations in the, uh, with the Indonesian government. And uh, I'm also in the middle of talking with the PGI, the Indonesian NCC, about having our office in their buildings together with Indonesian ASEAN. Uh, AP, uh, WSCF AP also plan on having our first on-site event after the COVID-19, which is a regional committee meeting. The RCM will be combined with a gender sensitivity training and supposedly be held in July 2023 this year in Indonesia also. Hopefully at that time, all the relocation business us are already done by then and then we will have our own office in Jakarta. And uh, lastly, please allow me that I'm going to use this opportunity to ask uh, for help from your SEM. I am planning to create a monthly online discussions. Every month, I hope to collaborate with uh, one SEM who will host the discussions. It does not necessarily have to be a formal discussion. It can also be a Bible study or maybe a prayer requ request or anything. I hope this way we can have a fellowship and get to know our brother and sister from another country. And in doing so, I hope uh, we can create a strong ecumenical solidarity among us as SEMers, not only in a time when some crisis arises. And maybe if Australia SEM or Bangladesh SEM is willing to be the first host of the discussion, feel free to contact me after this event, of course. And maybe thank you once again for this opportunity. It is such a pleasure. It's, I'm pleased to meet all of you all. May God grace be upon all of us. Thank you, Andika. Uh, thank you, Yuanda. So we are going to the next agenda is like an open discussion. Uh, first of all, um, I'd like to say something to Bangladesh SGM. I'm happy to to see all the all the activity activity that you guys doing, and um, this is as you guys know, this is like a, it was yeah you know at that time I remember um, I remember Monica share with me and Robbie about the the plan that um, that she does she did in the in the uh, that she want to do in the in Bangladesh SGM but she also needs something that um to support and um and that's why from Berlin and now we can see you know in Australia it's not really big money for that but it's really really wonderful even and I can see the impact of the 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 fund that we we share uh, um yeah for me, I'm really happy with you guys, uh, the report that you share with us, and please let us know what we can do more uh, for, for you to, um, to, to do some more. Because um, 
as as you know um as you know uh, monica and daisy and teams and um um yoanda that australian stm doesn't have a uh, um, lot of member anymore we only have like a small team but we like uh, have a um yeah not really big money but we have some money to support us but i think if we can if we uh, so at the moment because we we also have really limited activity here and uh, it's really good to share some like fun to to you guys and i i really happy that you guys are doing there so i'm going to um to give opportunity to everyone to ask some question or yeah so i'd like to just follow up on andika's comments and uh, just uh, uh, to thank uh, monica for such a, a professional and uh, effective presentation of some really superb work it's uh, as i said uh, earlier i i do find it inspiring the, the work that you do and uh, i think that um uh, for us to support you uh, really helps us as much as it helps you because it helps um, us to uh, to show other people in Australia um, the uh, uh, the value of uh, the support for the whole uh, WSCF family and um, that uh, my feeling is that uh, there are uh, others in the Australian church uh, who would uh, welcome the opportunity to uh, both learn from the the Bangladesh SCM and uh, and provide support, and uh, as you mentioned, Monica, um, there's uh, many of your uh, your students uh, have uh, have not been uh, have not had a lot of information about the uh, the federation, but also about Christian faith, and so as you. Uh, uh, engage with all of these uh, thematic topics that you you describe. Um, it's it's there's the potential to find uh, international resource people uh, who may be willing to uh, to participate. It was such a pleasure for me to be able to to participate in your uh, workshop. And now that we can do this uh, online by Zoom, it's it's great. And I I think one of the things that I'm interested in uh, with Bangladesh SCM is how much you find uh, Bible study uh, to be something that you uh, you integrate into uh, the various topics that you're uh, that you're covering. So uh, thank you that uh, if you could uh, answer those questions, Monica, please. So, so Monica, uh, are you uh, how much are you able to uh, integrate uh, Bible study into the uh, the discussions that you have in Bangladesh SCM around uh, the different themes that you cover. Uh, the last year, uh, in every uh, two months, all unit they uh, conducted Bible study. Some places it was in person, and some places it was online. So when they uh, consider Bible study, they must uh, think about the current issues, what is going in the world and also what is going in the country. And also they consider our thematic area and that is contextualized to be the biblical pers perspective. And our chairperson, Daisy Roy, is, uh, she is a theologian. She is kind of our uh, strength. She uh, always uh, uh, support us through few uh, uh, reading material, few presentation that also guide us and make it very easier to the young community to, because young community sometimes, and this generation, is sometimes difficult to communicate with them more appropriately and more effectively. So that's why it's really needed to develop a few content that is really more communicable to them. So our chairperson, she uh, try to uh, discuss that way in any of our central or unit uh, workshop. That time we consider a Bible study, 
but along uh, and beside this we have a regular bible study in all unit so they try to discuss and also they uh, try to invite a few uh, religious leader those who has background of Bangladesh SCM then they can very easily relate it about the, the ecumenical movement is not like a uh, mostly evangelical is also uh, how uh, evangelical also also part of ecumenical movement so we also try that way to introduce our young community when we uh, conducting bible study daisy can share if uh, daisy wish to address the question of form Robbie. daisy is here hello daisy uh, hi, uh, um, before I'm just sorry to say my internet is not too stable, so I just off the camera. Uh, is it okay? Yes. yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, is uh, Monica already shared about the uh, issues, why this is really very important for us, and especially uh, for the Krishna students, I think we, we need a base where actually we are coming from and how we maintain to our work. And it should be all things come from the Bible. Uh, it, it guide us properly. It uh, give us the deep sense and thoughts. So Bible study is very much important for us. And uh, whenever we call the student Christian movement is a uh, name itself is, uh, <laughs> it shows that we need the basic foundation and that is Bible. And it's always inspiring us and also uh, to, to guide us actually the proper way. And uh, you can see uh, all our um, presentation, there are a lot of Bible studies. Uh, so that also important things, uh, when we uh, learn something from Bible, it goes, uh, uh, deep and deep in our heart. And uh, when it's come like a strong biblical essence, um, uh, so the work is a uh, flourish in the field. So we believe uh, if we get more Bible study, our work will, uh, you know, goes uh, very nicely and we can touch people uh, very deeply. And another thing Monica, Monica already mentioned, the evangelical, some of group are very strong in Bangladesh, they're working. Uh, some cases, they have a lot of money. Uh, they're using it and uh, is some way they, some way I can say they misuse it and uh, uh, they try to convert the people. That is only the work. So we are not actually doing these things. We don't even like these things. Of course, we have a, uh, goal to uh, share the gospel but not this way we we need to do some work to touch the people to help the people to care the people and through that we need to share the gospel so that is uh, a same actually belief and we when we say we are ecumenical then we need to include all the people uh, we we need to mm, um, we need to share our love in, 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 in this way. So that's why Bible study uh, is more important. And of course, our all units are very much aware for it. Uh, every uh, program, each program, they are uh, trying to keep the Bible uh, studies and uh, to focusing the current issue, how they can face this, these things. Yeah, it, it helps them to go deep and deep. So. I think Ravi, you <laughs> maybe have the uh, discussion uh, essence. <laughs> That's why Bible study is really very important for us. But I also uh, want to add a few uh, points that is here is Shaktuka. Shaktuka is also involved with YWCA. Uh, as she is uh, strongly involved with YWCA, she, uh, sometimes she help us how a uh, Bible study, it can be a part of our cultural movement because when we think it make more communicable to the participant, then 
we try to how we can communicate them. So Shaptuka and Enju and also our Joshua uh, 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 Ribbon, they also try to uh, communicate with our participant when when sharing from Bible. Before that, uh, uh, create a moment for for it's like an ice breaking through a different cultural action song and other thing and then because uh, uh, as young people they are not always ready to hearing uh, from bible or, or hearing from any literature or hearing from any intellectual issues so it's sometimes quite difficult. So that's why we are very lucky that our executive committee's other member, they have few experience and they introduce that techniques when they conducting uh, Bible study in their community. That's all. Thank you so much. Look, that's just really a, a, a very valuable uh, perspective. I really appreciate you're approaching it and I, uh, I know that the WSCF has uh, has a program that is um, dealing with engaging with fundamentalism and uh, as uh, Daisy mentioned uh, that can uh, sometimes be a challenge uh, in uh, in Bangladesh and so uh, reading the Bible to, as an inspiration for work for peace and justice is uh, is really quite a different uh, approach than uh, than some of the uh, evangelical um, communities and so having that critical approach to faith and, and, and an ecumenical approach is uh, is really so much part of the scm spirit and uh, so i was just really uh, pleased to hear what what both of you had to say about that work thank you um I, I had a, a further question, but Mandy has a question. So Mandy, once she's. Yes, just uh, um, how about the other friends who are there from Bangladesh? Is there anything you would like to say about why you have found it important to be part of the SCM? What have you found it has contributed to your faith or life? Uh, thank you, Imandi, for your question. Actually, I want to say something about why is SCM important for our Christian life, for our uh, daily life? Actually, we learn a lot of things from SCM, and SCM taught us how to develop ourselves, how do we just uh, protect ourselves by some social issues, those those who are not good, those who's, uh, those who are not good for our activities, for our career development, for our spiritual life. Actually, ACM taught us. Actually, after passing school life, I just admitted, I just admitted to ACM, Bangladesh Student Christian Movement. And that time, I learned a lot of things from the senior friends. Uh, like, uh, we have some barrier in our social life, like, uh, what we need to do, what we not to need to do. So ACM taught us how to develop, how to educate it, how to go through spiritually, why we need Bible study. So ACM taught us uh, during our uh, college time, during our university time. So at this moment, we also trying to give this message, those who are the student, those who are the member of Bangladesh student Christian movement. So I do believe this. Actually, ACM has a strong role, strong uh, power in changing the society, changing the youth, changing the students, those who are taking education, those who are doing job, those who are leading society. So I just encouraged by ACM and I wanna say every young person, every young girl, every young student uh, come and join with us. If you join with us, you can learn. You can teach others. You can share your message with others. And you, you do believe what Jesus said, go and share your views. 
So actually, Bangladesh SCM, actually, we are trying to give the message what Jesus gave us, why, what Jesus showed us. Uh, so this is, my, this is my encouragement, and I do believe the verse, John uh, 3.16, and I also share this verse with other guys. So I do believe SCM has a strong power, strong role for changing the society, changing the youth group, and changing the country also. And also the Bangladesh student Christian movement, they take part different social activities and they take part in changing the society. So SEM, yes, SEM is a good organization, good uh, platform for newcomers, for the senior, uh, for the for the Asia Pacific member. And I also encourage everyone, please come in Bangladesh. When we arrange the program, join with us in physically. And if you get the opportunity to join in Zoom, join with us, then you will enjoy our activities. You will be a part of our activities in Bangladesh SCN. So then in physically, you can see what we are doing here, what our role in Bangladesh, what our role in society. So in physically you can see. So come in Bangladesh, I will giving invitation for everyone. So you can see what we're doing here. Thank you, that's all. Thank you, Andrew. May I just share something? Uh, Please, Daisy. Yeah, actually I have, uh, you know, the different uh, feelings. Uh, how you asking the question is just, uh, uh, memorize how I joined the SCM. You know, the funny thing is when I joined SCM, I really don't like SCM because I don't know anything about it. <laughs> uh, because someone forcing me and they are calling me and that time I was a student. So when they're calling me, I really feel bothering because that, that is my time for studying and everything. Just I started in... Uh, uh, secondary school certificate. So that time I has a huge uh, studies and everything. So when they're calling me, I really feel bothered why people are calling me to attend this kind of meeting and programs and everything. But uh, that was is 2002. So uh, later on, actually, even one and one and a half year, I really don't understand what is CM actually. I really don't understand because it's the deep, the sense and meaning, even the ecumenical word at itself make me very, you know, the feeling like what actually they're saying, what is ecumenism? Why they always using the things ecumenism, ecumenism, what is ecumenism actually? But after like one and one and one and half year later, like uh, slowly I try to understand actually what is ecumenism, why students need to join here, how we can see uh, the people in the different way. Uh, SCM always uh, shows the way how you can see the different, uh, different way, how you can see the story behind the story. Actually, these are the things SCM uh, taught us always. Uh, whenever we see everything, uh, you can, uh, you can, if you ask the general people, they're maybe explaining this way. If you ask the SCMR, they can give the deep sense of that story. So that uh, we try to learn how to see uh, actually behind the screen, uh, how to see uh, the people where actually uh, we need to focusing. So SCM actually, uh, when I realized SCM is this kind of organization and they are taught actually how to see the people in different way, I really fall in love with SCM and I start to continue with that. So I think uh, maybe uh, some of our friends are also the same feelings and same experience they had because SCM really is not easy to understand. 
comparatively other organization is very easy because they are in that other organization there are not or not uh, too much bible studies in in this way they don't have too much discussion they are not focusing the issues current issues how we can helping the people they just you know coming and have you know some you know the chatting and doing lot of fun so many of the students they are interest this kind of organization but scm is really different if anyone will really understand what is scm they are later on they are fall in love with scm so uh, like my cases is like that. i think most of them are same where are in uh, scm now that they are our other friends our junior brother and sister they have the same feelings so uh, uh, this is really very uh, uh, good question how we are interested but uh, before i i can say you know before it was so much bothering <laughs> but now we are falling in love so so it's is really a very good experience with sm this is really very nice experience wonderful experience with sm so thank you for raising this uh, really very nice question and it's memorize uh, me to all other things how i came and how i joined and still continue with sm thank you sandy Yes, I'd like to say thank you very much for the presentation and the discussion. I've been really impressed with what you put together. I think the putting together the uh, issues in the world together with the Bible and the Christian faith, uh, your program does it. It's ecumenical theology that we want because it's based on questions, uh, not on answers. We don't, don't have all the answers, but we have, the, I think, the right questions. And it's the questions that bring people together to share our ideas and, uh, and grow and learn. And I'm sure that's central to, to what SCM is and, and has been uh, for all of us, uh, certainly what it's been for me. Uh, I should perhaps mention that uh, in 1970, when Bangladesh was formed, I was part of a small group in Australia that lobbied the Australian government to support the formation of Bangladesh. <laughs> so you can tell that I'm uh, of advanced years. However, uh, SCM has been my formation and I'm very proud of it, very pleased with it. And it's still uh, very fresh for me. It's about based in questions and in listening to each other and in seeing the fruit uh, of exploring things together. Uh, that, that's the heart of it. And it goes back to the Bible, as you say. I think the emphasis on the Bible is very relevant. And the, the main point is to keep it in touch with the uh, questions coming to us from the real world. Uh, we meet God in the real world. Uh, in, you know, not, God is not just an idea. It, God is what holds us together uh, in everything. And um, this is what the Bible gives us some sort of a clue and a way of sharing with each other uh, about it. So uh, I'm impressed with your program. And I, I do also ask that any people from Bangladesh SCM coming to Australia, if you could let us know, uh, we would like to know of, of Bangladesh SCM people coming to Australia. So thank you very much. Now, uh, I saw that Monica provided uh, some comments in the chat uh, in response to, to Mandy's question, and uh, I thought that those comments were just really very, very good. So I'm just wondering if, uh, Monica, if you have any reflections on, on Sandy's comments or on, uh, or on Mandy's comments. Thank you so much, Arabi. I already mentioned my comments here in the chat box. Just one word. When I was involved in SM, that time I hear a story is about uh, a man, a student. Uh, he or she just like growing up for uh, his or her uh, uh, professional development and personal development and did a lot of success in his or her life. And in the nature of time being when he became our uh, old age and he was no more uh, and people are coming to the funeral service of his and one maximum people they're telling like that uh, oh my god he was a very good person he was a successful person but there is a one person uh, that person was reflect that Oh, sorry, I don't think he was a good person. 
and then reply why then he say it like that because he did many success only for his and his family not for society mm -hmm. so if people only think only do lots of success for his or her self her family it means that is nothing so that was my first call why i'm here and still i'm here so mm -hmm. there is a platform where we can contribute how we can do and how we can contribute more is not only for myself is not only for my family is also for my society and that is SCM. so that's the uh, my first day when i was in the uh, orientation session of uh, bounce SCM. I heard and that story really in my mind. And when I'm conduct any kind of uh, 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 SM orientation session in uh, any in unit, I shared the story. That's all. Yeah, Mandy. Yeah, that is a wonderful story, Monica. And just that reminder that we're called not to live for ourselves alone. And we're called to uh, treat others the way we want to be treated. And that means caring for the whole of the, the earth and to, to, to realize that how do we, how do we talk about success? Um, maybe for, for Christians, success is in being faithful, whatever that means, um, and not living just for ourselves, as you very rightly say. And isn't it amazing that that one story stuck with you? And um, it just helps shape your thinking around that in such an important way. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Mandy. Uh, as you know, Mandy is a, is a successful lawyer in Australia. One of the senior friends is really successful lawyer, but also she have a time join with us and you know because she have a heart with us that's why i can see mandy sandy and everyone like Roby still like senior friends but still join with us and i really appreciated what you guys doing and you know that's the that's the way we love uh, scm right and probably i would like also to ask um yowanda about the same question from mandy <laughs> Is that if if you want to share or yes, what would you find in the SCM thing? <laughs> what drew you to it, and what keeps you hanging in there and working hard for that SCM and that vision? Okay, thank you very much for the question. It is um, a good question, actually. I've been working with Indonesian SCM since two thousand and nine until now. But uh, if if I can share something, uh, so I I live in a, um, a different place, not in the uh, main city in Indonesia. I live in Manado, same with Andika. It is in in, in a different island from the main island Jakarta. So I have to travel to Jakarta uh, to work for WSEF. And last night, uh, last week, when I tell my ASEAN family in the local unit in my home country, uh, in my home uh, in Manado, I tell my uh, my juniors that I will go to Jakarta soon. So I might uh, not be able to help with your activities in Manado anymore for the time being. And then uh, they asked to me to make uh, some uh, fellowships, uh, like a barbecue night before I go to Jakarta. So last night, what's the, uh, last, uh, what was the time when uh, like uh, I held some kind of uh, farewell, farewell with my juniors. Uh, and a lot of them came uh, to come to my surprise. A lot of them came. They are still students in their university, most of them. Everyone is students. And the age difference from my age and them, uh, it's quite yeah, a lot. Uh, uh, I'm I'm like the older one at, at that place, but they still come and they still ask for my um for my advice for them for uh and then they still share their concern about like the uh policy in Indonesia and how they can contribute more to the society and they ask uh like my advice of what they can do. Uh, what I'm trying to say here is. 
even though I'm I'm now working uh, in a global uh, uh, a global uh, environments and working with uh, some of you with another countries, but in in my own in my own ASEAN, they still um, uh, like uh, I'm still attached with my ASEAN. That's how strong the community is built by the ASEAN that we still care each other, even though we are maybe um, years apart from the old. Now, and I don't think if we are not uh, if we didn't join ASEAN, I will be uh, i will have the same opportunity of meeting the students uh which is much younger than me and can some uh, can share some advice and they can also share their concern about the society how they can contribute more in the society and this is uh this fellowship the solidarity is uh i think what is our strong one of the our strong point with, within the asean uh community and then uh, the other is um, when the Bible study, uh, maybe the Bangladesh issues is uh, more on more or less the same with Indonesia. We are also uh, known as the uh, in the, uh, Muslim country, which uh, our uh, a Christian is only minority in Indonesia. And then um, we face uh, more or less the same problem as uh, brother and sister from Bangladesh. So we uh, sometimes the Christians are being persecuted and even women's and children's, we have a lot of case around here. And with uh, Indonesian ASEAN also try to um, uh, help, uh, help and doing something and jo uh, join the uh, solidarity with another groups to make a policy for women's and children and in Indonesia and after six years of struggling and fighting with uh, the extremists uh, and the extremist group in Indonesia, we finally success. Uh, Indonesian, Indonesian government finally uh, passed on the uh, policy regarding women's and children. And I don't think if we, uh, we didn't join this kind of uh, SEM, we will be able to um, involve in this kind of movement. And this is this is also the strong the, the strong point of the FTM. While we are uh, also all the, uh, make uh, still learning from the Bible, where where we have a Bible study, but we also contributing to the society, like what one what Monica said. Mm -hmm. Maybe that is my sharings about why I still love the FTM. I when why I think the FTM is still important until this day. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mandy and Andika. Back to you. Thank you, Yona. So um, I saw Katie. Katie. I think then I think Katie left. Oh, Katie already Katie's left. Good. She was yeah. here. Okay. Yeah. So is everyone want to add something? I mean, before we going to the end of the agenda. For... I, I had one further question, and yeah. uh, that was um, how do uh, Bangladesh SCM uh, find the balance between having uh, national resource persons from the church and theologians within Bangladesh uh, compared to uh, having uh, international people? Like, uh, it, it, if you do have uh, online meetings, then um, uh, I know your national speakers are able to speak in Bengali, and so uh, all of the students can understand. It's it's much harder for for international. Uh, uh, well, uh, you know, uh, uh, this many uh, of your members will not speak English, but uh, uh, are you interested in in finding uh, international speakers who are able to uh, to join with you? Yeah, some cases is fine uh, because uh, if we consider most of the student, yeah, they are not well. But those who are in the university level, uh, because English is our official language here, but Bangla is our uh, mother language. So for that practice, 
but official is second official language and first official language is Bangla. So as this is international language and second official language, so most of the students are quite good in English, but uh, still uh, not so sound. Uh, when they are in university level, then they can uh, understand English a little bit, not too much. So some cases is fine uh, because we have few experience uh, to when we when we organize a exchange sharing a webinar with uh, other other uh, SCM movement, then we consider English language. So yes, some cases is fine. We can and and when we think about regularly, then uh, sometimes. Uh, the student, those who are not very good in English, then they face a challenge. But I think here is our other colleagues, so Utshav, student secretary, amateur chairperson, and you, and also Shabtoka, Joshua, you can respond to this question. Is it feasible, feasi feasible for us or not? But I think yes, it's fine. But I have to must consider the other's opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Monica, I think uh, if you need something from us, just contact Robbie or me, and, or uh, we can, because we have like some of the, uh, I mean, we have several friends that it's like an um, expert to, uh, for some of the topics. So we can share with you. I'm happy to share with you. If you need, please contact us. And um, I think what I got from Yowanda, so Yowanda asked Robbie and probably Monica to if you guys want to because we so I, I remember when we have last time a meeting in uh, standing committee so we decided to have like a once once a month meeting a bible study or any it's not always bible study like a open discussion something like that and um, you want to already share uh, she will give to to us probably or Bangladesh or we can work together join together to organize a one monthly meeting so 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 when do you think because she's here it's good we connect with us uh, connecting uh, when do you guys think it's best to do between us because uh, because we are here right when you guys think it's the best time for us to to organize that one And sure. uh, the topics, uh, sure. the topics, uh, or probably we can we can talk uh, um, in the WhatsApp if you guys. I, I'll invite um, Robbie and um, and um, uh, Monica and um, from from you guys and probably with Yoanda to talk uh, what we can do in the in the coming months. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. And uh, Yoanda's idea of having a monthly sort of forum where all of the SCMs around the region are invited to join, hosted by a different SCM each time is fabulous. Wow. I think that would be really, really great. And, um, you know, great to have that sharing. And because we've got Zoom now, which we never had before, it's a way to just feel a closeness to each other and our discussion tonight I think really achieves that um, sense of um, thankfulness for all that is happening in Bangladesh and also in Indonesia too you wonder you're sharing so you know there's there's just that percolation of ideas and that inspires us all and so it's a wonderful idea to have a monthly online forum that everyone who wants to can join in hosted by a different SCM each time. Fabulous. That sounds... Mm. That's good. Oh, sorry, Mandy. Uh, because because we are here, so is, is there any update for... I, I already talked with Yoanda when when she's uh, like uh, elected. Um, is there any update uh, what we're going to do with the, with the trust fund for WSTF? Because Mandy, one of the um, like creator for this 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 discussion but uh i would like to ask mandy and and probably probably you wonder not really uh because you wonder just join but you wonder uh uh probably need to know what's what's we going to do with the senior friends because mandy is one uh one of the part of the senior discussion yeah uh, sandy 
Uh, could I say that I think it's important to record these international conversations because I think a lot of things happen that we don't quite appreciate the significance of as we say them. But the fact that we hear each other uh, is also valuable to other people uh, who can then tune into our conversation and at least get the question. It's a way of teaching the questions oh. uh, and the questions that really count as, as far as I'm concerned. And so I, I think if we have an international monthly conversation of any sort, we need to record it and have it available to people uh, as a resource. Uh, and I'm just wanting to see that that happens. <laughs> Because I do and, think it's important. Yeah. It's it's something that we would certainly be able to support uh, through the Australian SCM. Uh, and uh, so um, uh, it, uh, perhaps Yuanda would be able to uh, to to manage or, or work with us in terms of uh, of hosting. Um, and uh, so I, I think uh, holding uh, a monthly um, SC, um, Asia Pacific regional uh, SCM uh, gathering on a different topic. Like there are there are so many issues that I would like to hear more about uh, from uh, Myanmar and from the Philippines and uh, and from uh, uh, Indonesia and Korea, just all uh, India. You know, so many countries, and uh, just like to hear face to face from uh, from uh, Monica and uh, and Daisy and and Andrew today has just been uh, really immensely valuable. So I've. Uh, as as you see, uh, recorded uh, the uh, the presentation today, and uh, I I would be uh, happy to uh, to put this um, uh, recording up onto our Australian SCM uh, YouTube channel as a as a public recording. Like I, I don't think anybody has said anything that um, that they would uh, not want to uh, to have out in the public domain. Uh, but I think it, in general, that's um, that should be our our principle that we uh, we aim for our uh, discussions to be open and transparent, so that we can share them with uh, with others. And and I think as we share them with people around the churches in Australia, it's something that can uh, help us to uh, this conversation uh, sharing it uh, across the churches in Australia can uh, can help us. As a as a fundraising uh, activity, because as people uh, watch this, uh, they would be more happy to donate to the ASCM, and we can donate to the Bangladesh SCM. So, uh, just getting that transparency, I think, is is um, it, it is a very good thing. And just regular meetings is so important. Uh, and uh, so, I, I do hope that we can uh, uh, establish that as as a practice. Thank you. Um, um, uh, but I, can I just say that I think there's a three levels to consider. One is the private conversation. The second is on our website for WSCF easy access uh, and uh, use. And then the third one is the public presentation, where I think you need to be very careful about getting full agreement from everybody for it to go public. Because many things that are said here uh, will be will trigger somebody somewhere uh, into some sort of opposition. I just think we need to be very careful about the opening up of uh, what looks to us like a, a, an innocuous conversation, but you need to have everybody signing off that they're happy for that to happen. I really think that's the, the main quibble I put in there. So, so it's the difference between the YouTube channel as opposed to putting it on our website. I mean, I think putting it on our, our website is probably passive enough to, <laughs> uh, you know, only people who are interested in WSF will get to it mostly. So. Anyway, that, that's a small point. Yeah. Uh, just to come back to what Antika asked, um, uh, some of you will know that WSCF Asia Pacific, uh, there's some senior friends have been talking with the standing committee uh, and the, uh, of uh, WSCF Asia Pacific about the need to provide for the work in the future and whether we should have something like the Centenary Fund, which is global, for Asia Pacific. And so um, Fanny was quite active, and I hope, Yawanda, you'll be able to carry this on, to try to um, unite uh, senior friends and current generations of students around the region to think about this and to work through it. 
So one possibility is to have a trust fund. And so we're thinking, how do we develop it? And uh, where is the best place to put it? Um, previously, it, things were in Hong Kong, but maybe there are other places we should consider, including Australia. Um, so that, that is happening. The other thing that is happening is the desire to develop the network of senior friends and current generation working together a bit more strongly. So the hope was that there would be another um, online meeting soon. So when Yawanda's had time to get her feet under the desk, uh, you know, that would be great to be able to develop that because we've had a couple of those meetings. Um, Monica, I'm not sure if you were part of that or Daisy. There was one or two senior friends gatherings already. And <clears throat> yes, you were in it, Monica, I think. That's right. So, and I think they're valuable because they help draw everyone together and remind us what is important and connect the present student generation with others who might be able to help support them in different ways, whether it is through fundraising or through providing expertise in get, being willing to give a talk to um, either online or in person at a university. Um, in various ways. So somehow we, we, we do need to extend that and um, develop that. So I think a good start was made on that and we need to just keep working on it. Thank you, Mindy. Thank you, Mindy. So is a, any... Um... Could I just say how inspiring it is to hear from everybody? It's really wonderful. And I really can't help feeling that, you know, if we can share this with other parts of the region, they too will be inspired as well. And it, it sparks different questions in your mind because you're hearing things from different countries, different perspectives. So I'm very thankful to everyone for the sharing tonight and God bless everyone and all your good work that's happening. God bless you. Yes. So um, is there anyone want to add something before we going to uh, closing player? No, just one thing. I really uh, uh, agree with Mandy. Is it was really very very amazing time for me because I uh, that through that to to webinar. Uh, heard from many of our senior friends in different country in our region. Like when I was started SCM, it was 2000, and that time Mr. Sin was the general secretary of WCPFP. So it was a long time I heard from Mr. Yeah. Sin. Mandy, I, I met with her in 2007 in uh, in in, in Bangkok uh, as part of the WCC program, and she was a uh, key resource person of our human rights uh, workshop and it was amazing and I still memorized that that five days uh, when I was in Bangkok and the last webinar when I I, I I heard again from her oh my god it was different feelings so exchange sharing and learning sharing because uh, knowledge and uh experience is make wisdom so when we hear from the senior friend we hear some wisdom related uh sharing that's very important for current days our students and youth leaders and 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 sometimes when i'm in bangladesh i'm facing different difficulty or i have many achievement and when I can share this achievement and, and challenges and way forward to the other country, they have opportunity how they can overcome. And when we hear from the senior friend, it's really very amazing. So yes, I appreciate Mandy to remind this uh, to a winner again. Yes, that's very important to continue for coming days. And I agree with our uh, regional secretary, uh, 
for your proposal in every month there is a, a, a webinar and each country, country movement will lead each uh, uh, webinar so i really waiting to hear from you that invitation and you can develop a calendar then uh, we will pre notice that that month is for bangladesh that month for other country can we can prepare yes so yeah that can be really more uh, helpful to learning and sharing and development and way forward of our our, our Asia Pacific movement is very important. And as there is a many senior friend from Australia ACM, I would like to again raise a one point that is uh, you were you were here, uh, my dear sister. But uh, you know there is a many uh, country movement that are quietly inactive, like uh, CM Nepal, CM other many 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 Taiwan, many, uh, Hong Kong, and also uh, Singapore. Many many uh, country movement are quietly inactive, so uh, we can't. Uh, forward when they are behind so that's also our responsibility as today we get many of our senior friend and active uh, member of our 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 asia passive tourism like rabi mandy sandy and also antica and also uh, rose and our newly appointed sister and we are always ready, but I really wish that all inactive country movement will be a start soon and rebuild soon. That's my real, I was, I was uh, raised this issue in Berlin to welcome other religion, other reason how they can contribute, even WSCF, how they can contribute to rebuild those inactive uh, national movements. So that's, that's from my side. Thank you. Thank you very much, Monica. I respond it just for a bit. Yes, please. Yes, Monica, uh, I, I totally agree with you. And actually, uh, this monthly discussions is one of the way to uh, which I wish that can inspire our brother and sister from uh, inactive Asia. When when they see that we we build, we are uh, now building a strong solidarity across countries, and when maybe some of them can join uh, the discussions, one of the one of the uh, the members of the as inactive Asia maybe from. Singapore, like you said, and, and they can see where, when you guys are sharing your activities and how you make that happen and how it is important to uh, build, that, uh, build that movement, maybe uh, they, they will be, feel inspired and they will start the same movement in their countries. That is actually one of the, the reasons why I want this, uh, I, I, why I plan this discussion is also to motivate them. When, they, when we publish it to our social media, that way they can see and maybe they are, uh, they, are they feel interest uh, to join it uh, next time and maybe they will start from a small thing in their own countries. And also the second concern is uh, what I see from my perspective before I joined the WSCM is, um, well, we are, uh, we are together uh, most of the time when only when the crisis, some crisis arises, maybe for example, like Myanmar or maybe on uh, Philippine, but uh, like that's kind of solidarity after that crisis, it's just like, I don't know, maybe in some, some of the meetings, uh, yes, we can uh, uh, hear something and do fellowship, but other than that, that's it. Uh, that's uh, what I think that it is important uh, if we can uh, share, a uh, we can uh, see like like what I meant, um, mainly said that uh, this Zoom is actually this technology is actually help that we can connect to each other and with with uh, this uh, technology where we can share and meet uh, even though we are from from different countries. I hope the solidarity can be built and can uh, we can make a strong impact to the. Uh, to our own society back in our home countries. I think that's uh, what I'm trying, and I'm so happy that uh, everyone here is 
uh, willing to join the discussions. Looking forward for our next collaborations. I'd like to get a decision on uh, the question that we had about whether uh, if we do um, publish the recording of this meeting, it should be public or unlisted. Does, does anyone, uh, my preference is that it be public, but if anybody wishes that it should be unlisted, uh, then that would mean that uh, when you send a link and people can see it. Um, does, does anybody else have an opinion on that? No, but I'm afraid I have to go. Friends, thank you. Okay, Mandy. Wonderful. Thank you. And uh, uh, God bless. Yeah. Bye thank for you, now. Mandy. Goodbye. So, so I'm happy to. Uh, Bye. I mean, for me, it's okay to publish, but it's up to you guys. It's okay for my side. I'm fine. But how about others? Is anyone doesn't agree? <laughs> yeah, yes. Okay, from, from my side. Right. Okay. We'll, we'll uh, put it up on the ASCM yeah. channel. Uh, YouTube channel as a yep. public video. That's great. Thank you. Okay. I think before we close, uh, um, one thing. Um, so next week we will have uh, another uh, event uh, um, managed by Robbie. Um, so we will have uh, uh, our senior friends. Uh, Robbie, do you want to add something before we Yes, uh, so uh, Brian Howe uh, was previously the Deputy Prime Minister of Australia and is a senior friend of the Australian Student Christian Movement. And uh, Brian uh, will give a talk uh, next Sunday afternoon, which uh, I've, I've sent links to, uh, to some of you um, for it on the topic, has the secular university had its day? So it's this question of the status of religion within the university environment. And uh, Brian will be joined by another Australian senior friend, Ian Weeks. So uh, I will uh, uh, further circulate the, uh, the notice, uh, which is on our um, Facebook page. And, and also I've sent a notice by, uh, by email. Yes, thank you, Ravi. So Sandy? Do you mind to do the closing prayer? I'm happy to offer yeah. a prayer. <laughs> Thank you. Let, let us pray. Let us all pray together. Thank you. Lord God, we do thank you for this time together across our different nations, but in the same spirit of Christ. We give thanks for each other and for our work, for your service. Lord, we ask your blessing on our work, that it may be fruitful for your purposes in the world, that we may come to know what you do indeed wish and will for our world and serve that for the fullness of life for all people and for the, the earth itself. We do pray for the liberation of all. Lord, we ask your presence, your blessing and your strength for our work. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Um, so this is the time we're going to say goodbye. And uh, I hope we can see next week. Uh, if you guys want to join. Otherwise, we will see you next time. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, have a nice. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.